So this is what Churchill Mark IV. So this has got 75mm. Is it actually right there? Yeah. 75mm QF gun in turret. Of course, the original Churchill Mark I had a 75mm house there and a two pounder in the turret, but that was replaced because that was awful. Again, can't get a hold down position. So the Churchill Mark VII had 115mm front and armor, which is 15mm more than Tiger One. People obviously forget that, often forget this. This tank was known for amazing crew survivability. Look at that door there, that's how you can escape door. Amazing crew survivability, being able to shrug off massive amounts of anti tank fire and being able to climb every mountain in Italy. So, this is a Centaur, and basically, this tank was the there wasn't enough meteor engines knocking them out to be able to just guarantee that they were going to be able to build enough Cromwells. Because the so this actually had a Nuffield Liberty engine, which is basically an American airplane engine. But it could have been upgraded to Meteors. None of these ever really saw service, except from this version, which is a close support variant, which had a it had a howitzer on it, which basically was used for knocking down buildings. But it's very similar, basically, to it's basically a Cromwell. Why is there random Pack 40 with all the American, all the British tanks? Is it random? This is German, basically tanks. Oh, we got SU85 or oh, no SU100. It's from Russia. So this was basically the development of SU-85, which was basically the development of SU-122. Which basically was just an anti-tank version of their other tank. This is KV-1. There's actually, they're actually, I'm not sure if this is 100% true or not, but I've heard that the only way they could kill them, they couldn't penetrate the front armour, couldn't penetrate side armour in Russian, German tanks, and sometimes they couldn't even get through the rear armour. But I'm not sure if the rear armour is 100% true. So this had the same gun. As KV, as um, T-34, 76. Then it was upgraded to KV-85, which had an 85mm gun. And then it was upgraded to KV-122, right, KV-1S. And then they built the IS series, which was IS-1, IS-2, IS-3, IS Pike. There's something fishy going on with the IS-3 Pike nose. They obviously copied that from Valiant. Yeah, it's actually quite a nice tank, actually, for Russian standards. Quite good protection. And then there's a chap over there. Russian.